Epic Games is planning big changes to Fortnite in Chapter 4 that will specifically cater to Zero Build Mode. Now, whether you like it or not, I think most people would agree that the biggest success in Chapter 3 of Fortnite was the introduction of Zero Build Mode. It brought in a huge influx of new and returning players to Fortnite, including myself. When a sample population was polled on Twitter, the results showed that 72% of players preferred the no build mode. And now it seems that most content creators are playing zero build mode only. So it could be argued that the majority of Fortnite players now prefer zero build mode. And with such a great debut in chapter three, you can bet that Epic is going to double down on zero build mode in chapter four by further focusing their development on it. So with that being said, what new mechanics and equipment can we expect in Fortnite chapter four that are designed specifically for zero build mode. We know that each previous chapter of Fortnite has brought us a new type of movement or ability and a whole different theme. Before we jump into it, comment down below with what you'd like to see in chapter four or how you think Epic is going to improve zero build mode. Now, some of chapter four's new features have already been leaked and others can be projected by looking at the challenges that zero build faces. Surprisingly, Fortnite already plays very well without builds in the current state, but it could be even better with a newly designed map and new mechanics. So let's talk about those new abilities and mechanics. Online leaks from reputable sources tell us that we're going to get rideable flying animals, motorcycles, and a first person view mode. Honestly, this all sounds incredible. I can just imagine a Lord of the Rings collaboration where you're riding dragons and burning your enemies to a crisp or mounting up on giant eagles and grabbing enemies from the ground and dropping them out of the sky. Those experiences are both personal dreams of mine. <laughs> Motorcycles sound great too. I can imagine these will be very fast vehicles that can be easily destroyed, which is a great solution for zero build gameplay with a nice risk reward design for covering ground quickly. The Rocket League Octane that was just introduced into the game is probably a pretty good indicator of what the motorcycle might act like, but possibly with even more speed. Moving on to first person mode, Epic Games has reportedly been working on a polished version of first person view for months now. They've already implemented it into creative mode when designing and it works well. But to bring first person view into actual gameplay is a whole different ball game and it could seriously make Fortnite feel like a completely different game. It's also a huge opportunity to bring a bunch of new players who only play first person shooters into Fortnite. I don't think many people realize how big of a feature this could really be. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 now has third person modes built into the game in addition to first person, but they are separate playlists due to balancing. People are loving the option to play in both modes as it makes the game feel so different. So clearly there are advantages to both views, but since Fortnite is a third person game by default and uses building mechanics, I have a feeling they won't be introducing specific playlists for different characters reviews. In order for Fortnite to keep its roots and keep its current fan base happy, I believe that first person mode will be a toggable option during any point of gameplay with third person view being the default. I imagine it being a basic button input to switch views quickly. Honestly, coming from a first person shooter background, this sounds incredible and adds a whole new skill to master by flipping your camera to different views at the right time. Being able to enter a first person view for immersive combat sounds really cool and beneficial. I've lost a lot of fights due to a piece of the environment blocking my third person camera view and hiding the enemy from sight. With a first person camera, you get an unobstructed view that is not only beneficial in combat, but also much more immersive. On the flip side, you lose your ability to view your surroundings while behind cover. So being able to quickly select between the two camera views sounds like the best scenario. I think Epic Games knows that they can capture a whole different player base by introducing this new camera view. So I'm pretty confident that they're gonna implement it well, and if they can't, then they won't include it at all. Okay, all those leaks sound awesome, but I think there's much more to come. With chapter three ending so quickly, it feels like Epic is treating chapter four like a big refresh that they just can't wait to release. Every previous chapter has lasted at least two years, and chapter three is finishing up in just a single year, which gives me the feeling that they've got a lot of new features and mechanics built that they wanna release as soon as possible to get players re-engaged with their game. Now with zero build being so popular, 
Movement mechanics are more important than ever. Any good zero build player is always carrying a mobility item like shockwave grenades or grapple gloves, and I'm sure Epic Games has taken note of this. I also think this is why they introduced chrome splashes in order to give players good mobility at all times. In zero builds, you can't get cut out in the open without mobility or defensive equipment, so I believe new movement abilities will be introduced and even some new defensive abilities as well. I could easily see Epic adding any of the following abilities to take zero build to the next level. How about the ability to climb walls and mountains with climbing pickaxes like Tomb Raider so we can take high ground easier. In order to balance this, this could be a feature built into the specific environment like grip holds on cliff sides or mountains so that players aren't constantly climbing into trees and hiding with their climbing gear or maybe a simple wall jump to gain extra height on a mantle, or jump back and forth between walls to climb up a structure. Maybe the ability to wall run like in Titanfall 2 to make ourselves harder to hit or get around better. People have already built this mechanic into Unreal Engine 4, so it's definitely possible. How about the ability to have short burst thrusters like in Halo or Titanfall to increase our momentum or change trajectory quickly? Maybe we can jump and roll to reduce fall damage or make ourselves harder to hit when running through open spaces. Maybe the ability to pull out your glider when jumping off objects in zero build since we can't build below us to avoid fall damage or even just give us wingsuit equipment for super fast glider movement. How about the simple ability to switch your third person camera viewpoint so that you can peek from the left shoulder or the right shoulder. This feature has been long overdue and gives anyone with the right shoulder peek the advantage. As far as defense goes, maybe we'll see new defensive equipment or an entirely new character ability. How about a shield you can pull out to block a small amount of damage but still leave your feet exposed to damage, similar to the lightsaber but less mobile and takes less damage to stagger. Maybe we see smoke bombs make a return to move through areas unseen or new port forts that are more customizable to your needs. Maybe they add additional vehicle mods like extra armor that slows a vehicle down but increases its durability to act as better cover. Or maybe vehicle thruster attachments similar to the Rocket League car for new movement abilities. Let me know if you think any of these mechanics are plausible and what the pros and cons of adding them to Fortnite might be. Also, let me know which leaked features you are most excited for. Personally, I'm really stoked for the first person view. We haven't even discussed the crazy amount of change that will be coming to chapter four with the new Fractured Island. If you guys like this video, I might do another video on the new Fracture map and what Fortnite Creative 2.0 could mean for future POI locations. Now you have yourself a good day. Shinobi out.